Hello, I am here. Happy Friday. I hope everyone's doing good. Hello, Jamie. Hello to my favorite warrior princess. Hello, Lucy. Hi, Claire. Oh, I've got things popping up on my screen that I'm not expecting. <laughs> Give me one moment to get myself discombobulated or recombobulated, as the case may be. <laughs> Who else is popping in? Or hi, Celtic. How do you pronounce it? Kaliak? Kaliak? I read it all the time, but I don't ever know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm here. We're going to be unboxing the Witch's Roots. I'm super stoked, actually. It, it's the January box, but it actually just showed up like yesterday or the day before. So I'm excited to be showing it off. This month's theme is prosperity magic, which is one of the magics I am all about. I do I do love me some good prosperity magic. So I'm excited to see what they have in store for us. Let me see if I can, oh, I think, can I get this screen to go away? Oh, there we go. Screen is gone. Okay, so everybody can see me and hear me okay. Donna, hello. Yes, so I'm familiar with the term. It's just, um the pronunciation that I struggle with. I wonder if I could ask Google to tell me how to pronunciate. Pronunciate? Oh my goodness. To pronounce. Never mind. I'm not even drinking wine. I legitimately have sugar-free Kool-Aid in my tumbler right now. Cherry, in case you were curious. How's everybody doing tonight? Is it night where everybody is? Hello, Spitfire Cat. Is it night where you are? Have you had your dinner? Do you have a beverage? Peggy is like legitimately napping like right over there. <laughs> she's probably awake because I'm making noise, but she's I'm resting. Up. Fine. She's waking up, she says. Oh, and as soon as she made noise, Bruno got off of his little napping spot and is heading over to check on her. Oh, no. Oh, he's like, you're making too much noise. I'm going to go nap somewhere else, actually, is what he's doing. Same time zone as me. 10 p.m. here, 9 p.m. where Donna is, night where Lucy is. Hello, Aquarius Owl. Photo bomb. I should I should shine the cap. It should just be a lump on the couch. You just see you just see a blanket lump on the couch if I shined it on there. Ooh, 2 p.m. in Australia. That's not so bad. I have scissors and I'm still fussing with this pack packaging. This box, like through the plastic, smells really good. This one didn't get caught by customs though. Oh, this one smells yummy. Um, a lot of times, not a lot of times, it happened to me once. I'm so dramatic. One time, customs had to peek at my herb box from my witch's roots box. 4 p.m. Saturday afternoon in New Zealand. Woohoo! Donna says, wake up, Peggy. I'm waking up. She's she's a very cheery waker up or two. <laughs> oh, what a cute stretch. Aw. <laughs> she's adorable. This literally smells so good, though. So if you don't know, oh, I should turn off that really obnoxious banner. Hold on. Let's turn that off. If you don't know, the Witch's Roots is a monthly subscription box by the team over at the Witch's Moon. And they have three boxes. So I have tried them all. This is the one I'm currently getting. They send this one to me for review, which is amazing. I've also gotten the Witch's Bounty box. You can see that's where I got this pendant. Um, you can see my unboxing of that on, on my channel. I can't link it. I realized I was like, oh, I'll link it up in the cards because I was just filming a minute ago and that's what I do when I'm filming. But this is live, so I can't put things up in the cards right now. But if you check it out, you can check out the Witch's Bounty. That is there. The Witch's Bounty is the one that comes with a, um, a really nice piece of jewelry, typically a pendant. And the Witch's Roots is their herbal focused box, their herb focused box. And this one is their most, most affordable. And the Witch's Moon is right in between those two for price point wise. And that one's like a really great, like witchy, just general witchy box. It's awesome. Lots of good stuff. I've never been unhappy with anything I've gotten in any of the boxes. This one smells so good. Oh, you just got your Moon and Bounty. Are those the February one, Butterfly Love Child, or the January one? This is the January Roots box. It takes a while to get to me in Canada. I do think sometimes these ones move slower crossing the border because they do say right on the, if you don't know, if you get international mail, there's always a customs declaration on the outside that gives you a general idea of what the contents are because they have to report that for customs. Thank you. It's like a perfect match. This, this one is, I love this pendant so much. It's one of my favorites I've ever gotten from them. Sorry, squirrel moment. Anyway, on the customs declaration, um, they have to list what's in it and it always says herb. And I think possibly, Canada Post or the Canada Customs or whatever, whatever it has to go through to clear 
they probably take a little longer because this box always seems to be a little slower to get here than any of my other ones have been. Um, but yeah, you got the February one. Oh, I'm so excited to see. So I'm not currently getting now the Witch's Moon or the Witch's Bounty because I'm trying to, to pare back my spending a little bit. So I'm not getting those two, but I am still getting this one. Yay, hi, Kay. Uh, shipping herbs internationally must make the officers really nervous. Yeah, probably. And it's funny because it says that in, I don't actually think it says herb usually on the declaration for the Witch's Moon or the Witch's Bounty, but the Witch's Moon still comes with herbs. I think it just lists candle artwork sometimes it'll it just kind of depends they try to keep for privacy reasons um the packaging is always really discreet so it comes in this outer poly thing so this witch's roots part is hidden um and they keep their their descriptions kind of generic i think still for privacy so for example i'm not going to read you what all is in this one because i think there's a possible spoiler on here but like like candle oil or like they try to keep it pretty generic um but yeah Hi, Molly. So I'm curious, um, who else? So I know Butterfly Love Child gets Bounty and Moon. Who else here is subscribed to any of the witches stuff? Let me know. I'm curious. I'm going to check on comments. Here we go. Here we go. I actually really like Friday Night Lives, but because I'm West Coast, I know it's like really late for a lot of people. But this box really smells good. It smells, you smell, see if it smells familiar. There's something about it that <laughs> mm, smells familiar. Cardboard. No. Isn't that familiar? Peggy's still sniffing it. <laughs> yeah. It's I familiar, mean, right? Yeah. You sure it's not pot? It's not pot. It doesn't smell like pot. No, no I don't know if it's familiar, but. Pot smells okay. stinky. Instead of sniffing the box, open it up and see what's in it. But anticipation. <laughs> K gets the moon box. Moon box. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Um, Donna, we don't get any bar uh, subscription boxes here anymore. We used to get bark box for Henry and Newman, but these boys have enough crap. Oh my god, we got bark box for our guys for a our guys, our dogs for a while, and they have a humongous overflowing toy box now. Bark box is fun though. Okay, yeah, same. You don't get it to the latter end of the month. Yeah, which one do you get, K? Hi, Whale Song eighty one. Molly, I don't subscribe to any, but enjoy being a voyeur to unboxings. I know. I love watching them. I'm actually going to be adding a new unboxing fun thing to the channel soon. So I'm excited about that. Um, Moonbox. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the flagship one. I think it, it used to be called just Moonbox, I think. And then they had to change it to the Witch's Moon box, I believe. But yeah, I love them. And they always put in really nice quality things. I've never felt like, I've never pulled something out of one of this brand's, like the Witch's Moon's boxes. I've never pulled a single item out and been, wow, this is kind of chintzy and cheap. And you know what I mean? Like sometimes with some subscription boxes, sometimes you get things and you're like doing the math in your head. Like, could I have gotten this at the dollar store? You know what I mean? And I've never had that experience with these guys. So I really, really appreciate this one. Um, also, I just really like surprises which is always a fun thing about unboxings. Okay, so I'm gonna dive in right now. So let's see. Oh, oh, I always try not to look at the artwork. So I'm gonna pull it out and put it upside down so that I don't get spoiled. Okay, now here's what we see. I had to, I had to hide my own spoiler. So we have a sigil. I wish, I wish that the team over there would actually put on the back of these what they are. But this is a really cool one. This one totally reads prosperity to me. We have like a four leaf clo clover in the sigil. At least that's how I'm looking at it. And we have the sigil for um, Jupiter, which is also about luck. We also have the, the alchemical symbol for the sun. And these markings here look like um, the rune. What's the rune? The antler rune, the elk, the protection. Is it algaes? Does somebody know? Yeah, so this is a really cool one. I like that I can kind of see all the elements and kind of see where they were going with it. So I really like these sigils. I keep these in my my book of shadows, which if some of you don't know, I have like an expanding file folder and that's my book, Algae. So I guess, oh, I got it right. Okay, I'm still learning runes. So it doesn't come as naturally to me as like tarot, but um, I keep these, oh, sorry, that's what I was saying. My book of shadows is a expanding file folder. So I have it with sections and I keep these in the um, spell work section and then I can pull them out when I want to for different purposes. But this one is gonna go right on my prosperity altar because I have 
one of those set up and this will be a perfect addition to that. Hi, long hair, it's skinny Atto. And now we have our parchment, which I usually actually look at first. The sigil was right on top. So honey, I have noodles for you. Do you want some noodles? She's just kind of looking at me like, nah. I'm not awake yet. So what happens if I sprinkle you with noodles when you're not awake? Probably bad things. Bad things happen to me. Well, okay then. <laughs> All right. I love but taking. I have some leftover chicken. This still smells good. Is there still um, leftover chicken? I saved you one. She saved me one whole, wing. one whole piece of chicken. Is it a wing? No, there was only two pieces. I took one out of that one for you. Okay, and she didn't save me just a wing, so that's good. Okay. Let's read about the theme. We know it's prosperity magic. So I always fold these. You guys know the drill. So I can't see what's in here. Okay. Prosperity magic. In the coming months. Oh, let's see if I can do this properly. There we go. In the coming months, we embrace the bountiful energies of growth in all aspects of our lives. Yay, spring. It's the growing season. Uh, and it's soon, right? Spring is soon. As the days become longer, our ability to work on prosperity spells become heightened. Just as the moon waxes, the sun starts to shine. Prosperity and abundance comes in many forms, including success that may lead to a more stable income. This can also be related to being guided to new opportunities, meeting the right people at the right time, or simply to invite more feelings of happiness and fulfillment into our reality. As we begin to focus on the manifestations of the new year among us, we set our intentions upon growth in its simplest form. As we use the items that have been created and sourced for this very collection, we call upon our guides and ancestors to push us forward into a prosperous and meaningful future. And then it goes on to list the items, which I have hidden because spoilers. Hi, Darcy. What is on my chain? So this is the pendant that I got in last, in the January Witch's Bounty Box. It's wicked awesome. If you go watch my live, or even if you check my Instagram, there's actually on the back a setting that has a flame sort of cut out of it. Peggy? Can you turn it down? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was down. I... Um, anyway, but if you if you show a if you put a candle flame behind it, which I think was that Donna's idea, it was somebody's idea during my live to put a candle flame behind it, it literally glows and you can see that flame coming through and it's freaking yes. amazing. Oh, Peggy's in our chat. Oh, was that me I was hearing? Yes. Oh, <laughs> it sounded like somebody else. I, I, I was heard... like, man, if you're gonna watch a YouTube live while or YouTube while I'm live, I, like turn it I, down. I, I, I thought I had it turned all the way down. No, you're adorable. Anyway, that's what um, that is. And it's um cherry quartz. Thank you. Anyway, okay. So manifestation and prosperity. So for me, I like to work with two different kinds of prosperity on my prosperity altar. I work with sort of financial um, abundance, um, like sort of think pentacles <laughs> energy. And I also work with emotional abundance. So I work with like nine of cups energy, which is very much about sort of emotional fulfillment. So when I think prosperity and I think abundance, I think emotional abundance and I think financial and, you know, material abundance, but I work towards both. Hi, Heather. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. I would say if I were to rank my witch's bounty pendants that I've received in witch's bounty boxes, it would be, hi, Shadows Truth. It would be my Angel Aura Quartz, my uh, Ouroboros Silver Pendant, and this one. I didn't get the Rose Quartz one that's in the little silver nest. That one's gorgeous. That would probably have ranked up pretty high too. So I think what I'm noticing about my taste is my favorites are these like really simple shapes, but really like chunky stones. You know what I mean? Anyway. I haven't even like unwrapped the, the paper yet. So if you're new, you haven't missed anything. All I've shown so far is the sigil. Oh, look, there's Peggy. I can't type fast enough to say hi to everybody. There so you hi, go. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I said hi to Donna. And then I realized that there was like 30 other people to say hi to. So, hey. What? <laughs> I just scoffed. That's not what I meant. Okay, now you can go. God, it's like there's a toll and she doesn't remember or something. <laughs> Everybody says hi back. Oh no, shoveling. No, no more snow. No. Okay, I just peeled it back. Okay, I'm really excited because I can already see stuff. It smells really good in here. I'm not going to lie. So that's what I see now. So I'm going to pull out this thing that's on top because it's in kind of a cool package and I want to see what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Before I flip this around, have you guys ever, do you guys remember? 
those envelopes that you could get and they would have the little very thin plastic fortune fish. Do you remember those? That's not what this is, but do you remember those? You would put it on your hand and based on like how it curled up or do you remember those, honey? Are you just having a segue moment because you're squirrely or, or are you? Yes. Do you remember the plastic fishy things? You put them on your hand. They were like little red plastic thin. Mm. Hi, Dylan. Do you remember? Kinda. Anyway, okay, well, whatever. They would this this packaging kind of reminds me of what those packaging used to look like. But this says it is Lucky Hand Root. And there's a thingy in there. I'm going to check it out in a second. So it says success, job, love, lottery, um, money drawing. And then it's also saying the same thing it looks like in Spanish. Does anybody know about these Lucky Hand Roots? I'm going to, yeah, the Chinese fortune fish. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Somebody needs to Google that and like pop up a link to a picture or something because those were like I, I used to get those in my like how young must I have been? I just remember just loving them yeah, when I was a kid. Young. Probably my first was it like last week. No, it was probably my first experience with divination was when I was like seven and had these fortune fish. You know, it was it's kind of divination. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they have them on we Amazon. Just thought, we just thought we were telling the future with those things. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That and like the horoscope scrolls were probably the most exciting. Like divination slash slash astrology things that I ever ever had. Anyway, so this is a lucky hand root. I'm curious if anybody knows what these are, but I'm gonna open this little envelope and check it out because I'm curious. I don't think anything bad will happen if I if I open it up. It's sealed, but I think it's just because whatever's in here is kind of small. Oh my god, this looks like a hand. Okay, bro, you need to back up. So it's it is a plant of some kind. This one like legit looks like a straight up hand. Horoscope scrolls, yes Molly remembers. Okay, I feel better now. Okay, so it comes in like a little baggie. I'm just going to dump it out and show it to you. This is really cool looking. What is that? There's like even like what looks like a little, it's called. I'm a, over here like, well, hurry up because I don't <laughs> need it until you put. It's like a lucky, it's called a lucky hand root. But this one looks like it has, it's got like a thread coming out the center of it. I don't know what's up with that. That literally looks like a piece of thread. Don't swallow. What you got but the it? rest of it, like you can tell, it looks like kind of like a hand. Like I've got like a thumb and four fingers. So it literally looks like a hand kind of doing this. With its fingers like back a little bit but do you guys see that it's really trippy i don't know what's with the thread though I don't pull the thread is it a thread or a piece of root it might be a piece of root it's got like a twinish kind of feel to it but that might be just a part of the i think that's pull really it. cool the first thing you do is reach for it's like telling me not to push don't the red button that's what i do <laughs> i think the so paper now, start, now that i'm waking up I'm gonna start oh okay it. yeah i will read about that after i've I've revealed all the all the things. An orchid root, that's kind of cool. It looks like this is this would be a really cool um herb to work with for money manifestation though, because it's got that sort of hand. Yeah, Tayshas, okay, read the envelope. Don't pull the thread. Don't pull the thread. It doesn't say on the envelope not to pull the thread. Doesn't matter. Okay. Well listen, listen to K. Okay, I won't pull the thread. <laughs> I'll read about it in the paper in a minute. Okay. Next up, we have our herb of the month. And I love the one thing that's really nice about the Witch's Roots box is you always get a generous amount of whatever the monthly herb is. So this month, it is bay leaf. So this is, honey? again, this is, what? Your dog is snoring. Oh, yeah. If you hear snoring, it's not Peggy. She's awake. The dog is snoring. Anyway, so we got some nice big bay leaves in here. Bay leaves are really fun for simple prosperity magic. You can just write on them with like a marker. And then burn them. So great for quick. Um, the root you received was smaller and no thread. Okay. Oh, so whale song. That does happen. Apparently, if you don't engage with the channels you're watching, so if you don't like click like and comment, and like I'm not saying that because of me. I'm just saying I found this out recently that apparently, kind of like on Instagram. Oh, that was one of the new changes YouTube brought in. Yeah. So if you're not engaging with channels over a certain period of time, whatever channels you're not engaging with, it will auto unsubscribe you. So just it's just a thing that happens. Do bay leaves have a smell? I can't remember. Oh yeah, they do. This is good. I don't have to steal them out of the kitchen now when I'm doing my bay leaf magic. That's a really pretty one. I love how curly it is. That one might have to go on. I'm going to leave that one out and put it on my altar because that's really nice. Okay. Let's see what else we got. I know it, they shouldn't do that. Instagram does weird things. You know, they're always messing with algorithms, right? But like, it's always a thing where social media wants, like any social media platform wants you to be only seeing the stuff that's going to keep you engaged and on the platform because that's what the advertisers, of course, want. 
So if you're not engaging, it's going to always like move that stuff down. And Instagram, it just moves it further down your feed. But I guess, oh my God, she's snoring so loud. She's like right behind the camera. I need to know if anybody can hear it. Can anybody hear it? That's hilarious. I never liked the you'll die fortune of the fortune fish. Like, we'll all die at some point. I legit don't remember what the fortunes were. I just remember thinking it was the coolest thing. Well, sorry, I just found out I was not sub to me. And I feel like I chatter, like, and watch you all the time. Yeah, so yeah, what the heck? Yeah. I you don't know. know. They do these updates and then and then everything goes haywire. Something goes wrong in the back end. They screw a whole bunch of people over. So I okay, go check. I think I have a oh, Donna up. can hear, um, and so can Molly. Can hear Shayla snoring. <laughs> That's awesome. Every day she just every day for at least a couple hours she just snores away. So I got a spell candle. Not enough according to the algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Donna. Oh, that's terrible. One of her horses oh, no. died today. Just suddenly? That's... Uh, man, you just can't catch a damn break with your pets yeah. and your animals and stuff. Oh, my gosh. I thought that was a Twinkie. Okay, I wish this was a Twinkie. I don't know that I've ever yeah. talked about this on my channel, but I have a legitimate soft spot for Twinkies. And in particular, I have a legitimate soft spot American for Twinkies. American Twinkies. Because in Canada... They're probably made with less chemicals, and they just don't taste the same. I really like me some American Twinkies. Now, the Twinkies up here are actually cake-based. The American ones are just a bucket of chemicals. I don't think the Americans want to qualify as food. The cream is a different texture, and the cake is a different texture. Because it's real. It, well, regardless, the American one is just, it's better. It's just better. You know what else I can't find up here? Ding-dongs. There's no ding-dongs up here. And when we find them, they're called oh king-dongs. King-dongs. What? And they're not wrapped in foil. No, they're in a two pack in plastic. No, no, I want it wrapped in foil. I'm very, I'm very nostalgia. American food isn't made of food. I mean, it's true, but I did grow up on American food. <laughs> Therefore, I like it. I also miss American cheese, but you know, there's that. Anyway, no, this is the candle, but it's wrapped in this really pretty golden kind of colored paper. And it looks like it's going to be a sagey green candle. I go through these. Yeah, I know. King Dons. Isn't that the weirdest thing you've ever freaking heard? No, why? So it's almost as much of a travesty as having no biscuits at KFC up here, which is why we don't go to KFC anymore. Um, bye, Lucy. KFC, no biscuits. But we don't eat KFC up here anymore because it's turned to crap. Well, that's what I just said. But that's all. But also the 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 no the no biscuits thing. No American cheese. I die. Well, it's the, it's not that we don't have American cheese. Have American cheese, cheese is the slices, better. right? No, no, we have. To, that's not what I was talking about, though. I was talking about like the creamy Tillamook, like really good cheese. We our cheese up really here is really different cheese. It's just it's better. It's creamier. I can't doing it the old fashioned way, just like ripping the paper off. Let me have a King Don. I mean, what? Yeah, I know. It doesn't. I don't understand. Canadians are weird. Also, the commercials up here are really weird. Although now that I've been living here for like how how long now? Thirteen years. Thirteen years. Now, when I see American commercials, I think those are weird. So, I mean, there's that. This is a gorgeous colored green colored candle. It's not that like deep emerald green. It's like this really pretty. It looks washed out on my camera, but it's like can I hold it up against something that's gonna like show its color properly? Will it look more? That's a little better. You can kind of get an idea for the green. It's like um. Hold it this way. It's like a state, like a spring. It's brighter and yellower. Yellower? Yellowier? Here's the leaf. I'm trying to put things next to it that will show the color. That's pretty accurate, but it is kind of washed out. It's just like this really pretty yellowy spring green. Bite your tongue. About what? What am I talking about? What? What did I say? Oh, about the commercials or something else? Yeah, I like this one. This candle smells like whatever is making this whole box smells good. Smells good. I can't talk. Can't talk. Dog's still snoring. Um, whatever's making the box smell good, the candle smells like. And I think it's probably the incense. Because the incense is usually what ends up making the box smell really good. But this smells good. They're not, I don't think it's anointed, though. I, they haven't been doing that lately. They've been giving you just the candle in the um, whatever color. And then you can anoint them yourself. But these are rolled beeswax candles. I really like the way these burn, but I do go through them pretty quick. We have Taco Bell, but we don't have Taco Pizza. Oh, I like Taco Pizza. Do you guys still have Taco Pizza in the States? We don't have it up here anymore on the menu. And things like um, chalup Chalupas, 
are hard to find up here. Gorditas are hard to find up here. Um, man, we don't have Jack in the Box. So I end up going down there and getting their really, really crappy, crappy tacos because sometimes I miss those. Um, I like all the junky food <laughs> I can't get. I can't get up here. Um, taco time is the best. Taco time is good. I really like taco time crispy burritos. This is, yes, this is a very big sidetrack. This is what happens on live chats. But look, I have a pretty, a pretty candle. And I've got some bay leaf. And I have a sigil. And, and a lucky hand root. And we're going to keep, keep, keep going. I'm going to get something else. Okay. I also have, oh, Peggy's back. Hi, honey. You back? I'm back. I have incense. You have incense. That's what, that's what I was smelling, but I don't know what the smell is. I'm going to have to look at the paper. It doesn't always tell me. Sometimes it's just like, this is spring or growth or prosperity incense. And I'm like, but what is the smell? I want to know. This smells good. It smells oh, like, hi, Amber. It smells like soap. It does, well, it smells so. like a nice soap, though. Like it's got, is it floral? It smells like rose a little bit. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Is it rose? I don't know. No, it's something else. I don't know what it is. I have is. a pretty gold that. box. Do we want to see what's in the pretty gold box? I'm excited about this. This is a good box because we've already got the candle, the lucky hand root, the bay leaf. I feel like See, they're I start like making quesadillas, but I hate buying them because it just feels like you're throwing away your money. Yeah, so but that's thin. a quesarito, which is a burrito wrapped in a quesadilla. Have you made one of those? No, I, I don't can. think you have. I could. Excuse me now. I started toast roasting my burritos in a pan. I can make tortillas. Yeah, if you do a burrito and then put it in a pan to kind of crisp the top and the bottom, mmm. So good. Okay, I want to see what's in the box because suspense. Hi, Bethany. Oh, wait. Every, now I join in with the derail and you want to get us back on track. Oh, we don't have to. Did you want to con continue talking? No, about no, no, it's okay. I just want to give you a shit or something. Again. Okay. I, I'm making cup of cake. Oh, you know. Oh, let's talk about junk food. <laughs> so you went and made a cup of are you, are you making two cup of cakes or just one? There's cup only of one cake? left. She's making cake and not <laughs> sharing. How mean is that? Hey, you Claire says she loves you, though. Thanks. I mean, be careful. She's not You're mine. Awesome, Claire. <laughs> Oh, mine, my butch. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> soft bee burrito hey, from Taco Time. Yeah, I'm jealous, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I hate when incense has names like Moonlight because WTF is that. Tell me what the scents are. I know. I want to know what's in it. Like, it's okay to say this is Moonlight Incense and it's got essence of blah, blah, blah in it. I want to know. I want to know. Because curious minds are curious. Anyways, I'm going to peek. Ooh, it's a pendant. I can never use the chains that these come with, but... I always have this chain on, so I just trade out, and I'm really excited because this looks like a goddessy pendant. I know we're talking about food, and now everybody's hungry. Why do you think I've been here foraging for cupcake? <laughs> Did you hear? Why do you think I've been here foraging for cupcake? By oh, which okay. she means the the mug cakes that you make. In the have you guys tried those? This is our pendant. Look at this. Okay, so first of all, let me flip her around so you can actually this see one, her. This so it's a, a it's a muffin. Oh, it's a muffin. Blueberry. Are you going to make me a blueberry muffin or are you see? making the chocolate one? I was, we did that. I can't see it yet. you got to wait. We passed those around for Christmas. That's, I think, the very last one. Let's I just see. grabbed corn chips. Oh, boy. Now everybody yeah, has even the junk food. Okay. See, we're, we are all mutual. Lisa's enabling us all. It's bad. Anyways, this I is a really people. pretty, this is a really pretty goddess shape. So on the back, yes, it says, may you have abundance always. Which is awesome. This would be a really cool. Oh gosh, it's not going to focus because my face is there. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, is it going to focus there? This is so hard to do on my webcam. Nope. Well, just trust me. That's what it says. Um, but what's really cool about this, this would be really cool to layer with one of my witch's bounty pendants. I have a witch's bounty pendant that was Desert Druzy. It was the first one I ever got. Desert Druzy. It's big and round like a sun. And it's coated in, um, not coated's the wrong word, plated. It's plated in 24 karat gold. And it literally looks like a big gold round circle. So that on like a longer chain with this one up higher would be a really cool combination for like uber abundance and prosperity energy. That'd be really cool. So these pendants are usually nickel-free pewter, which is a metal I can wear, which is balls. So all these little metal pendants, I can't wear the chain, but that's okay. It's nice that they include one because lots of people can wear these. Um, but I can always wear the pendants, which makes me really excited because a lot of times there's, if I get a sterling silver pendant and it's not like a really high-end one like I get in the bounty box, I can't wear them. So it's nice that it's pewter and not silver, at least for me. So 
that was awesome to include. And this is a very affordable box. Um, I have the link in the description <laughs> box. <laughs> I have a link in the description box down below where you can check out the pricing. There's a US price including shipping, a Canada price, including shipping, and an international international price, including shipping. And I think this one, if you're in the US, is like 25 or $30. It's somewhere in that range. Like if somebody actually wants to let us know, because I always forget, that'd be awesome. If you happen to be the multitasking, like open a new tab kind of person, but I'm pretty excited. Anyway, so I have incense so far. I have a pendant, the candle, the bay leaves, the Lucky Hand Root, the Sigil, and there's a couple more items in my box. So I feel like this one's just packed with good stuff. Okay, let's grab the next thing before. So I'm gonna grab, ooh. I love it when we get these little pouches because it usually means there's a stone and there's usually a stone every month, but not every single month. It's a citrine. So these citrines that are white at the bottom with like a really vivid top, orange top like this, are I believe lab created. This one's got an interesting like sort of chisel point rather than a pointy point. Do you guys see that? It's like a flat chisel point. Um, but I actually really enjoy working with the energy of lab created or lab heated citrines. Um, they are natural stones. They've just been heated to, I think they're amethyst or smoky quartz that's been heated to bring out the citrine. Um, but I don't mind working with their energy. I love natural stones as well, but I think these are fun. And I have several. Oh yeah, I'll show this again. I have several of these um, citrine and they're wonderful to put a little pile oh, on yeah, my, like yep. I heard I already responded actually. Oh, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> anyway, I like to put these in a little pile on my prosperity altar. And these are also really affordable for people. So I think that they can definitely still work. I think a lot of it is intention, but I really, I really enjoy them. So I keep a little pile on my prosperity thing. So this is our prosperity sigil. So it's like a four leaf clover. We have the Jupiter um, sigil here. We have the sun. Um, symbol there and then I think it's algae's which is I, I might have that wrong but it looks like the algae's rune around the outside with some extra little lines so that's how I interpreted it but yeah I totally get that Dylan I think some people are going to vibe with these and some aren't I would love to bring into my collection one of those really beautiful um natural citrine has almost like a tea color to it and it's a lot more clear and I would love to res I would love to have one of the little citrine, um, natural citrine towers or points in my collection as well. Hi, Nina. It's afternoon over there, so you can hang out with us. Good to have you. Anyway, I'm going to put that back in its little pouch. We're going to read about everything in a minute. But there's one last item in here that I'm super excited about. So I can kind of see what it is. So big bottles, so not an oil this month. Bye, Claire. Have a good rest of your day. Yes, I can hunt one up in Denver. That can be the thing I'm on a mission to find. And this, ooh, money draw. Look at this. So this looks like it is an aura spray because they've also included a little mister separately. I like that they ship them this way because they're not going to leak all over your box, which is really nice. But look at that. Look at that label. So cake that became a pudding isn't half bad, not half good. But since it's supposed to be a muffin, I'm just confused now. <laughs> yeah. Ew. You probably didn't heat it long enough. I heated it like three times longer than it needed. I actually, I, I got distracted for that split second that had me putting too much uh, milk in it. Yes, um, Jada. So yeah, we're going to have the meetup in Denver in September. There's a poll up on my community tab where you can vote on which weekend works best for you. But we're looking at the weekend of the... 18th to 20th is what's leading the poll right now, or it'll be the weekend prior, but it's to, it's to be also overlapping with the Denver Rock and Gem Show, which is like the second you know, biggest I'll in the country. Yes or no question. <laughs> but I like giving details. Leave me be. <laughs> anyway, I need to smell this right now. Oh, oh, this smells, this smells good and spicy, like cinnamon and clove and those kind of herbs that you associate with prosperity. Where's my little sprayer? I'm going to put it in so I can spray it. And these sprayers, by the way, if you look, it's already touching the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, but when I smush it down, the little tubey bit of the sprayer, that's a technical term, yo, 
goes right into the corner of the bottle. I'm gonna show you, cause I actually really appreciate it when bottles do this. See how it bends at the bottom and it goes right down into the corner? That's great because it means that even when it's really low, it's still gonna suck up the, the good stuff. So I'm gonna give this a spray and see what it smells like once it's sprayed. Oh, I might've got spray on the camera. Oh, that smells really good. It's, I'd say clove is probably the strongest note clove and cinnamon that I get out of this. This is awesome because I don't currently have a money spray and I love working with aura sprays. I have a moon one. I have a heart chakra be still spray that I got from Michelle over at EO chakra products. I have her smudge spray called smudge off. I have um, a moon spray. I have a clearing spray. I think I got from witches roots. Um. Peggy just burped so I loud. So loud. Oh I my eat, God. That's Donna's fault. I'm blaming Donna. Why is it Donna's fault that you burped on camera? It's Donna's fault that I ended up with Popeyes last night, which is why I'm eating leftovers today. That's very circuitous, but I mean, is, whatever, man. Again, I don't take <laughs> whatever, man. You do you. Okay. Oh, and we can look at the artwork now. We can look at the artwork now. So, Bay. So, this is what the artwork looks like. I'm going to take it out of its plastic so you can see it without glare. <laughs> Donna says that cake must have been amazing. Shadow's Truth is like, I heard that. <laughs> so did Kay. Oh my God, Brant, I made it just in time for the burp and thought it was the dog. Also, hi everyone. No, that's no, Peggy dog, being disgusting. The snoring that you hear. Yeah, Shayla's snoring in the background. Peggy's burping. This is just a class, classy live chat right now. So this is what the artwork looks like. It's really, really beautiful. So it has the correspondences. It has some information on Bay. So it's associated with the sun, Mercury, and Jupiter, which makes sense for our sigil. Um, there's also a sigil on the artwork, which is really cool. If you like working with sigils, that can be fun. And nobilities. Sola est. Oh, that's Latin. That's not. I can't read that. Uh, complimentary botanicals, clove, rosemary, sage, and sandalwood. It'd be interesting to find how many of those are in our spray. Um, carnelian, citrine, jade, sunstone, serpentine, and topaz are all stones associated or compatible. Its native origin is in the Mediterranean, and there's a bunch of other information on here. So that's really cool. I keep these in their plastic, and I store them for now in my accordion file book of shadows. Eventually, I'd like to get a really nice book of shadows that I can paste these, like actually glue these into. But for now, that's how I store them. Oh, now my nose is itchy. I don't know if it's from the spray or the incense, but, or the energy. Oh, Apollo's herb. Is that one of the names for it? Oh, it does say that right here. Apollo. So as far as being associated with Apollo. It says, as a classical symbol of honor originating from Greco-Roman antiquity, Bay represents merit, distinction, tribute, and victory. Its qualities impart a wide array of wisdom and strength from health and healing, astrological and tactical, oh, sorry, strategical and tactical pursuits, psychic, mental, psychic and mental clarity to competitive academic or athletic endeavors. So it really helps you with like pursuing like what you want to pursue, projects you want to get finished. Uh, warding against, it's also a good protector, warding against dross, unhelpful, unwanted, or even destructive energies. Burn bay leaves to induce the prophetic states of clairvoyance. Place leaves near the bed to experience prophetic dreams. Those wishing to overcome harmful behaviors, patterns, and or conditioning may write their goals or wishes on dried leaves and burn them as offerings to their higher self or helpful guides. Overall, bay is an essential herb and may be substituted for other more rare, unattainable herbs. That's actually really good. I hadn't heard that about bay and like conditioning and programming, but that's useful to me, like a lot useful to me. So I would probably use it that way in the future. So let's read our little paper. That was everything out of the box and let's see what it has to say. I'm gonna try to do it without kicking the camera. No stores open past nine? Oh, you poor thing. I live for like midnight junk food runs. <laughs> Can't live for them, but I do like them. Okay, oh my gosh, it smells, this incense though smells freaking amazing. I can't wait to burn this. Oh. And this smells like the kind of incense. Okay, I like strong incense. I know I'm not everybody, but this smells like the ins the kind of incense that like you burn it and it's gonna give you that scent in an even way through your room. I mean, I do have chocolate chips. I could bake something. Get to bacon. <laughs> that sounded like bacon, not baking. But there you go. 
or just eat the chips. Okay, I'm going to read. Bay leaves. Okay, I just read a whole bunch about bay leaf, so I'm not going to keep going on about that. So then we have the Bay Herbal Grimoire artwork, which I just showed you. The Prosperity Sigil. We've included a copy of our Prosperity Sigil from our Book of Shadows for you to display or place among your altars. We created this sigil using the energy of Jupiter as this powerful sign brings abundance and success into view. To receive better results, place this sigil, sigil among your altar or work with its energies on a Thursday, which I'm assuming is Jupiter's day. If anybody knows astrology and can confirm, that'd be great. Um, we also recommend writing an affirmation on the back of your sigil to instill your intentions and make a deeper connection with its energy. Oh, that's really smart. I have a bunch of these sigils and I haven't done that before. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, butterfly love child you can make a mug cake recipes are all over online and you don't have to commit to a whole thing that's really smart um okay next we have the lucky hand root which i showed you guys it came in this fun envelope and it says we are thrilled to be able to include a lucky hand root or salip root to this collection these beautiful and curious roots come from different species of orchids oh good call somebody had mentioned that earlier i already forgot who it was i'm sorry i have the memory of a sieve but I appreciate you because you knew that. Um, they are a must have for our personal cabinet cabinet of witchy, which I can't talk. They are a must have from our personal cabinet of witchery used in many hoodoo and root work rituals. The lucky hand root brings luck to all our financial endeavors. Uh, gender, feminine, planetary connection, Venus, elemental connection, water. So it doesn't say anything about that little thread or root or whatever is coming out of the center of mine. So does anybody know what the story is with the thread or the root or the? Yeah, she was telling you about it. She was explaining somewhere else. But no, she said it was explained in the paper, but it's not explained in the paper. Mm. I just read the paper. Now I'm curious, um, but I don't know a lot about uh, root work. <clears throat> Excuse me. I actually have a book called uh, the. Uh, I want to say it's called Crossroads of Magic or something. It's yeah, on the shelf behind me. Wrote. What? It means growth. It means growth. Oh, where is it from? It doesn't say where it's from, but it looks, um, there's definitely well, there Spanish on here. Insert inside the package? No. Oh, it's growth from the root. Oh, that's good. Oh, I see what you're saying, Kay. You're basically saying it's it's growing. And if it's growing, I obviously don't want to fuss with it. I mean, it legit looks like a Can piece of string. Can you plant it? Maybe. Says it's a type of <laughs> shadows could be making popcorn now. Now I want popcorn. Have the popcorn. thread is growth from the root. Yeah. Microwave at 10 second interval. Okay. We're talking about mug cakes, not my root. I'm like, I shouldn't microwave this. No, I think that's you guys, I'm pretty sure that's a piece of string. Like it I'm gonna show see if I can get it really, really close to the camera and see if it will focus on it. But like it literally is woven. Like, I almost want to lick it <laughs> just to confirm that it's like thread and not something botanical. Is that bad? Anyway, it or does it just, or is it a, a string that's to represent growth? In which case, that's totally fine. <laughs> Y'all making my PMSing self so hungry. Peggy just made us all freaking hungry by talking about all the things. I guess I, I helped. I'm show you this couple of slop Ooh. and then you guys won't be hungry anymore. Yeah. Why are you still eating it if it's slop? Oh, God, it's sugar right now. You're a diabetic. Okay. <laughs> she thinks it's got sugar yeah, in it. That shit. I'm fine. Oh my god. I'm just thinking about everything I would be saying right now, but root work, growth, licking. Oh yeah, it just went all kinds of sideways. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's a string. So if it's in there intentionally to represent growth, that makes sense. But I'm pretty sure that's not a root. Also, it's very firmly in there. Maybe they hang these to I just realized maybe they hang these little roots. <laughs> You're behind, babe. I don't care from behind. I just saw Ardana's comment. I know. I read. I just read it out loud a minute ago. Oh, I'm ignoring. I told you earlier. I'm ignoring. <laughs> She's you. literally ignoring me. Um, but the roots do look like ropes. Oh. I was just gonna say maybe they hang them from rope, but yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm gonna just roll with it. Either way, it's cool, and it's going on my prosperity altar. I'm not going to let Peggy plant it. She can't plant it. I'm sure you can. You can't plant it. It's for my magical work. You can't have. Go get you your own orchid. Don't look at me like that. Orchid root? It is an orchid root, yes. You might be able to plant it. I had an orchid that, yeah, I just don't. Uh, you could probably Google it. Uh, okay. Hey, Google, what is a lucky hand root? 
On the website Amazon.com, they say, a lucky hand root comes from several species of orchids and is among the most powerful ingredients that can be added to an African-American mojo bags designed to increase gambling luck. Sometimes called salad or salute fruit or five finger root. Okay. Okay, cool. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but Google had lots to say on it. It's from African-American magic and you add it to a mojo bag for luck and gambling. Very, very cool. So that's similar to what it said in here, but I'm excited. It's definitely going on my altar. Just put a little pot on your altar that would represent prosperity growth. Plant it like that. Oh, put a little pot on your, oh, I see. I see. Ooh, Raven likes making homemade popcorn. I'm, I'm terrified to make homemade popcorn. I changed the voice, Amber, just literally yesterday. <laughs> I just set off your mini. I have a home here. Oh my god. I have a mini in my bathroom and I have a mini in my bedroom. Um, yeah. So uh enjoy. <laughs> anyway, that was a fun box. Thank you guys for letting me unbox it. I tried to be real patient and not open it until I could come on live. <laughs> this smells really oh I didn't read about I didn't finish reading. Oh my god, I'm such a squirrel, you guys. I literally read like halfway down the paper and then like off to the races we go. The money draw ritual aura spray. We have created this money draw ritual aura spray with the intention of bringing forth new opportunities in your financial endeavors. As you spritz this spray around, you visualize a gold light starting to gleam. Know that this very act is charging your magnetic center so that you may attract money into your world. We've enchanted this ritual aura spray with clove, cinnamon, and bay oils. So I was right on the sense. I just wasn't sure about the smell of the bay. Um... We have also included a special mixture of our money magnet magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this ritual oil spray. It smells real, real good. So this is also going to live on my prosperity altar. So I feel like I've got the little root to put on my altar. I'm going to put this really pretty, like kind of wavy bay leaf on my altar, the citrine. And then this little candle is going to get used in my regular candle burning practice, but um, mostly because I don't have the patience for for spell candles <laughs> i did do good didn't i i was so strong and and patient for two days it hurt a little um we got a rough citrine stone with gold pouch um also known as the success stone citrine carries within its energies the ability to attract wealth and abundance Place this beautiful stone upon an altar to honor a deity or ancestor or use to make a mojo bag. This crystal, along with bay leaves and lucky hand root, can be placed within the golden pouch to create a success sachet. Okay, I legit love that. We're doing that right now. So I've got my pouch. I'm going to plop my citrine in there. I'm going to plop the really pretty bay leaf in there. And I'm going to plop my lucky hand root in there. And this pouch is going to live on my altar. It hurt a little. It it did. It is a great box. And I mean, I feel like if you're, especially if you're just getting started or you want to work with more herbal energies and you want to have a reason to focus on a particular herb each month in your studies, this is really great because you get one herb. In the Witch's Moon box, you get three or four, usually three, I think, small bags with a little bit less per bag of herb. And that was really nice, but I actually found that it was a more overwhelming for me. And I really like having just one herb to focus on and to work with and to get to know. So it's really like um, accessible. What's the other word I was looking for? Um, from a study perspective, it's a little easier to focus on just one at a time. So now I have this little gold mojo bag with my lucky hand root and a um, citrine and a bay leaf in there. And I've actually got some other things I can add to this. So I've got some peppermint, which is also really good for attracting abundance. I've got some clove. I've got some cinnamon. So, I've got, better bag. so I'm going to boost it. I know I need it. This one's pretty, though. For a mojo doesn't bag, matter. this is pretty. doesn't matter. Peggy's, <laughs> Peggy and I are usually bag snobs. But from, for these, for spell bags, I actually love repurposing these Witch's Moon and Witch's Fine. Roots bags as spell bags because I don't actually care if I destroy them. So if I put it under my, like I've made herb sachets out of these to go under my pillows. I've made little protection pouches and things like that. So this is great. I'm going to keep adding some other stuff to this. I've also got a really nice oil for prosperity. So I'll probably add some herbs. I'll drip some oil on the bag. Do my, oh, well, do my charging. Yeah, <laughs> See, Peggy's like, well, if you're going to wreck it, yeah, use that bag. Yeah, I know. I save all my Peggy bags for permanent things, not things that I'm doing just for spell work. 
All right. Amber, so, Amber D is asking to find Mojo Bag for the baby was in the room. Oh, so I don't, okay, I probably should use a different word to be completely fair because I think mojo bag is actually a hoodoo term, but any spell bag or spell pouch or spell bottle is basically just a, a container, whether it's a bag or a bottle or a box or whatever, where you put a whole lot of ingredients in it to work towards a particular intention. And then you can put these pouches somewhere. So for example, a protection pouch, you could hang from your rear view mirror in the car. A financial pouch like this, you could put, maybe put somewhere like I have a prosperity altar where I would put this. Um, and then let's say I was going to go buy a lottery ticket. I could grab this off my altar and put it in my pocket when I go to buy my lottery ticket. Um, there's things you can do to like, just kind of hold a bunch of different energy. My, I just call them spell pouches usually. And I put whatever corresponding herbs, stones, oils, other items. Sometimes I'll actually add a little bit of real money so that it can grow more money. If you know what I mean? Like I'll put like a toonie, or a quarter or even some old pennies because they don't accept pennies anywhere anymore just with the idea of you would move it i wonder where you would put a pouch if you needed magic to heal constipation oh she's over there snickering she's so proud of herself right now you're such a brat anyway i i like making little sachets with lavender and mugwort for dreaming and i put it under my pillow you can put some um amethyst in there you can put some uh, lapidolite in there, which is good. You can put some uh, passion flower in there. Ravenbird, no comment. Yeah, so I want to actually start making more um, practical witchcraft or everyday witchcraft videos for my channel because I haven't made one in a long time. So maybe I'll do one on like little spell, little spells. That'd be fun. Um, Peggy's just going with the gross stuff. Thank, thanks, honey. <laughs> I need a good luck one in my pocket because I've been trying to get an Aquaman plushie and a claw machine at my local Albertsons. Yes. I fully support you using magic in this way. Fully support. Anyway, so that'll be fun. I feel like there's a lot of really useful things. I'm really excited actually about this little goddess pendant. Oh, I didn't read about that yet. See, I'm squirreling again, you guys. There's like three more things in here. Oh, wait, where's the pendant? Does it talk about the pendant? Oh, here it is. Abundance Goddess Pewter Pendant with Chain. This beautiful pewter Abundance Goddess Pendant is a favorite of ours and holds deep meaning within its symbolism. Inscribed upon the back, may you always, may you have abundance always. You could also, with a pendant like this, if you're not going to wear it as jewelry, you could also take your little spell pouch. Oh, I'm blurry. Hello, camera. Hi. You can take your little spell pouch and you can, um, oh, I didn't read about the incense yet either. Oh my God, I'm the worst at this. You can actually tie this onto your little um, pouch as a charm. So that's another thing you can do with these if you don't want to wear them as a pendant. Or you can attach these to the ends of prayer bead chains. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with those if you don't want to wear them as jewelry. So FYI. Okay, let's read about the incense. I don't think it's going to tell us what it is. I don't have a lot of faith. Let's see. Inner luck. <laughs> it's not going to tell me. Oh, you get lucky. No, that was the passion box from the witch's bounty, babe. Mm. Inner luck right. ritual incense sticks. We have placed the inner luck incense sticks within this collection to foster a positive perception during your meditations and rituals. Know that you are lucky and deserve the thing that you wish and work to manifest into your life. No idea what's in it. Uh, Donna, screw it. I'm making popcorn. I wonder what would happen if I melted chocolate. Donna, you can do that. I watched somebody do this with uh, regular chocolate chips. What they did is they kind of got it going um, with a little bit of did they put it in a double boiler? But they, they did. They melted chocolate and they tossed the popcorn in the chocolate. And then they did a separate bowl and they did white chocolate and they tossed it in there. And then they did a separate bowl and I think they did caramel and they, and they mixed it all up and they had like, now I want that. That sounds amazing. Yeah, Peggy, magic. Magic would happen, Donna. And that's what we're here for, folks. It's all about the magic. Well, if you make the popcorn. Yes. I, to melt the chocolate chips, you just gotta put them in a mic put them in a microwave and stir. Put them in put, a, put them in a cup in the microwave and stir whatever. <gasps> Ten seconds at a time, stirring as you go. You know what? Then you'll have a drizzle that you can put over your popcorn. That's true. But you know the video that I saw? I think it was like a tasty video. What they did, it was actually really smart. They took a big bowl and they poured their popcorn in the big bowl, and then they took a smaller bowl and they put it inside the the big bowl, so the popcorn made a ring yeah, around the outside. Like magical popcorn. But. Anyway, and then, wait, 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 so big bowl, small bowl, bowl, and then the popcorn, so it made a ring, and then they microwaved the chocolate, and then they drizzled the chocolate all between the two bowls, so it coated all of that popcorn, 
And then they let it set or cool or whatever. And it's just too wait, wait, wait. It's just but wait, but wait, there, it gets better. Because then when they took the bowl out and it had all set, they had a chocolate popcorn bowl that he then dumped other popcorn into. And then you could like eat the popcorn and then break off chunks of the chocolate popcorn bowl at the end. It was amazing. I love those videos. I never do a single thing that I see in those videos. But I love watching them. Sorry, Dylan. I'm going to drink my Kool-Aid now. Yeah. <laughs> Molly, I had to leave my computer for a bit and I come back and we're still talking snacks. Well, actually, we stopped talking snacks and then we came back on to talking snacks. So, <laughs> yeah. That chocolate popcorn bowl, though, I want to make that. I want to make that. I want to make that. Yum. Yum. Yeah, this was a really good box. I love Prosperity Magic. Let's take a quick peek while I've got you guys here. Let's just see what next month's theme is for the Witch's Moon. Actually, you know what? I can actually do this. I bet I can pull this up. Let's do this. Let's see if I can actually be all fancy pants. I'm going to show you guys what the website looks like. Let's do it together. Okay, so let me share my screen. And because I can do that on here, maybe if my computer will actually cooperate. There we go. Uh, let's go here. Perfect. So now we can look together. Okay, so this is what the Witch's Moon's website looks like. So if, if we go down, sometimes the theme for the next month will be announced. Let's see. Aha, here we go. So next month's Witch's Moon box, which is this one here, is called Witch of the Woods. So I don't get that box, but that is the theme for the Witch's Moon. The theme for the Witch's Roots is called Harmony of Mind. That's exciting. And the Witch's Bounty is the Viking Spirit. They also usually will post these on their Instagram, so you get a little of a heads up. And I think on their Facebook page, too. And since we're here, let's look at prices. So for the Witch's Roots That's box. US, right? Uh, yes, these are all in U.S. prices. For the Witch's Roots box, if you are in the U.S., the box is $29, including shipping. If you are in, if you're overseas, if you're international, um, or if you're not outside, outside of Canada, U.S., I believe, it's $38, and Canada is $35, and that includes shipping. So those are all U.S. prices. The Witch's Bounty, let's just do that while we're here, is $78 U.S. if you're in the U.S., $87 international or $84 Canadian. And the Witch's Moon is 69 if you're in Canada, 78 if you're international, and 54 in the U.S. And they also have, this is fun, I like doing this. I only get to do this on Peggy's Live usually. Oh, speaking of which, quick reminder, Peggy's Live is tomorrow at 11? No, it's tomorrow Saturday. Sunday at so, 11? Yeah, I'm, going, I'm trying 11 a.m. from now on. And what's our topic? Rasputine. Rasputine. Oh, damn, that earworm. So, yeah. Ra, ra, Rasputine. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I pulled the Peggy's from. channel is Peggy's Paranormal Ponderings. Okay, let's take a look at the moon market. This is cool, too. So, if you see stuff that you like on the witches, in the witches' moon unboxings and things like that, you can actually go here. Sometimes the items from the shop, from the boxes are in here. Sometimes it's just other items. So, like, for example, you can actually buy the January witches' moon box because they've got some extra it looks like so you could purchase the whole box i have this little shell box it's so cute that came in a witch's roots i believe here's another goddess pendant so you can kind of just look at all the most recent items that have been added and then there's a whole bunch of items they've never featured in boxes that they have here as well so you can i, I actually got um, a statue through them before um, but if you're looking for a particular thing you can like their jewelry let me just it's so pretty. Where did it go? Crystals? Jewelry. So some of the witch's bounty pendants will show up here. They've got some malas. This one here was the one we got in a witch's moon box, this manifestation one. It's so beautiful. It's rose quartz, pearl, and amethyst. And I got myself this pendant here, this aura coated fossil turretel shell. So yeah, so here's the serpent. You can I'm pointing at the screen like you can see. <laughs> like you can see me pointing with my finger. Um, this really, this is one of my favorite pendants they ever did, this Ouroboros with the emerald inlay. Oh, it's the best. 
I still want this Labradorite one. Anyway, I gotta stop shopping. Yeah, now let's do shop with Lisa. Shop. Oh, this is fun. Ooh, no, we, no, 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 we should no, have no, a shop no, with Lisa no, live. No, no. That no, would be okay. No, hands up if no, you want to see a no. hands up if you want to see a shop with Lisa live chat. Come on now, you know you do. Somebody has to enable me. I mean, I enable you guys all the time. I think it's your turn. I think it's absolutely your turn. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, thank you for putting um, Peggy's channel link in, Donna. I would watch, says Jada. <laughs> Dylan, oh gosh. <laughs> so yeah, this is, that is the Witch's Roots unboxing. Darcy says yes. Dylan says yes. Ha ha, you're outnumbered. Peggy's outnumbered. <laughs> and what's better is I'll grab Peggy's credit card. <laughs> Oh my God, you should have seen her face just then. I'm almost drooling. That was so funny. <laughs> it would be funny. I'd be like, hey guys, I got Peggy's credit card. Let's go shop. That would be such a fun live chat. <laughs> oh, so good. I'm in so much trouble now. Yes. Also, reminder because I'm what she say. And the next video would be filmed at her funeral. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, Valentine's Day is coming up. I think that'd be a beautiful opportunity to have a shop with me. You set a budget. I take your credit card. $5? I just no. I'm worth more than five dollars. I'm worth more than four dollars. Three dollars. <laughs> so mean. So mean. What do you get me for Valentine's Day? Nothing. You're mean. Nothing. <laughs> the pretty moth box. Oh, let's go check it out. Um, hello. Hi, I'm just checking out a moth box. It's fine. Let's just let's just see what moth box. Yeah. Jaya says you're getting mug cake. <laughs> <laughs> mug cake. Where's the moth box? I want to know. Let's search box. Oh, also some of their oils. Ooh, is that it there? This Maiden Spirit box? Why does it look funny? Why does it look funny? Okay, it's $35. Oh, my good heavens. No, that is no, no, stunning. No. That's so pretty. Look at that. I actually have a mermaid box in a similar style that is on my <laughs> Ocean Goddess Mama altar. That is beautiful. Alter tools. This is a fun category. All the mug cake you can eat. <laughs> double five, <laughs> Dylan, double five dollars and double that and keep going eight times. Thank you, Dylan. I appreciate you. <laughs> yes, a Valentine's Day love yourself and shop with Lisa video. Self love shopping. I love this so much. Okay, let's see what else they have here. <laughs> they have an Aphrodite with doves. These statues are really pretty. Some of these you can find elsewhere also. I just have had a really positive experience shopping with the Witch's Moon. So I've really enjoyed their items. I have a Yamaya statue that I adore. Um, these are really pretty. There's Freya, Frigga. Wow, she is badass. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. I have this. This was so cool. This came, this is a hand carved tree guardian spirit. We got him in a Witch's Moon box last November, if I remember right. Not this past one, but the one before, actually. So pretty. Ooh, look at this mermaid. Is this mermaid? Am I seeing things? No, it says mermaid. Lar oh, merman. Holding mermaid mirror. That's a mirror? Okay, that's really cool. Oh, look at this mermaid leaning on a rock dish. She's looking at me, so she's saying naughty things in chat. I can tell. I better go look. Lisa, Lisa lend me Peggy's card so I can get the moth box. <laughs> <laughs> take my money dang so this is the moon market and nobody ever talks about this but this is at the witch's moon website so you don't have to subscribe to get beautiful things from them you can go check it out so that is that but i should probably get off of this website now but i mean i i i like the idea of a shop with me video i think we should make that happen <laughs> peggy okay lisa has to go now she'll be back in a year or two <laughs> Oh, scroll back down to the three maidens. It's so three of cups. Let me pull it back up. Let me go back. Uh, moon market. I sent some poverty coming on. Just yours. <laughs> Let's see if we can find it by searching. 
Three Maidens. Oh, here, this one? The Mother Maiden Crone? Was this the one, Donna? Well, there's also this one here that's really cool around the tea light holder. Um, um, um. What's the matter, dear? This is really pretty. Come on, will it open? Hello? Where's our big picture? Give it to, there it is. That's really, that's very Three of Cups, hey? Oh, look at that. And the engraving on this stuff is really nice. Oh, she's even wearing like a chain. But yeah, this is very much made in Mother Crone. You definitely get that sense of a difference in age. Oh, and the mother even has like a little pregnant belly, it looks like. That's cool. I really like that. Raven, I think Lisa should stay away from where I shop. Where do you shop? You people are scaring me. <laughs> oh, Jada, she just got her new prosperity box. You have no worries, Peggy. <sighs> Let's take a look at what they have in tarot just at oh past boxes they have a whole section for past boxes is everything oh sold out sold out so the only one they have right now is bridget's flame which was the january box and that one has it looks like a spray a salt a stone a box <laughs> peggy causing trouble again <laughs> her prosperity my credit card hey it's still personal prosperity for me what else do we want to look at? Spell candles, incense, herbs. I have bought some of their oils. Their oils are really nice. If, if you lust after their oils, mmm, so good. So they've got the Come To Me anointing oil you can purchase. And these are not a, very expensive. $7, it looks like. Witch's Shield. I have that one. That one's really good. There is a Golden Unicorn Prosperity Magic Anointing Oil, honey. 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 There's a Golden Unicorn Prosperity Magical Oil here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So pretty. It doesn't really show me what's in it. I think that's a generic photo. What other oils do they have? <sighs> La da da. Enchanted Aura kind of Spray. Oh, right. I got Squirrely. We were going to look at that. <laughs> we were going to look at that. Let's go back. Let's look at Tarot. <clears throat> Let's see what they sell. I think it's all mass market stuff. So I think it's stuff we can buy direct. Yeah. Angelarium, angels, gods, and goddesses. There's a little, we don't want that bag. We want a Peggy bag. Blessed bee cards, <laughs> divine feather, oh, yeah, earth power, earth warriors. I have this magical times and I love these making magic cards. Their prices seem decent though. So it actually might be a good price. These are Ethany's money magic manifestation cards. I actually have just one card. They featured them in a box and the card was about abundance. And so, well, I guess the whole thing is because they're all about prosperity, but I tuck, I keep it tucked in my wallet as like little prosperity magic on the go. The Namaste cards, I almost bought those. They got two pages, Nefertiti tarot cards, Mother Mary Oracle, Shadowscape tarot, Solabuska. <laughs> is this the um, Fancy Pants? One that came out with Low Scarabeo, the Solabusca. Molly just said she wants another live to view what you ended up buying. <laughs> yeah, I might I have to do that. No, That'd be fun. So fun. All right, I should stop. I should stop now for reals. Okay, there we go. I love that they have Anthony's Oracle. Yeah, they featured it in one of the boxes. So we got, you know how they, um, in the Witch's Moon box, you get each month, you get an, uh, a kind of chosen for you Oracle card. Bye, Molly, by the way. Um, and that month they featured her deck, so everybody gets a single card. Oh yeah, I was wondering some of that. You got some. You got some of Dustin's spray, didn't you? Didn't you get some? I didn't get any of Dustin's metaphysic mists, but I did get one of his oils. So yeah, he made he like, made me a like yeah. Oh, it's really nice. He made me a new moon protection oil, and it's really really lovely. He puts so much heart into the stuff that he creates. Like he charges things. He puts lots of intention behind it. He uses really good quality oils. Yeah. Anyway. I've been on for about an hour, 10 minutes, and I think I need to go find some food because we've been talking about food, and now I'm hungry. Oh, well, I already ate. You can stay for a while. Longer. I need to find some okay, food I'm because stay. I'm hungry. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a really good night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember, you can book a reading with me over at supportoftarot.com. Remember to keep an eye out on my community tab because we're running a poll for the upcoming North American Tarot Meetup, which is going to be happening in Denver this September. And... 
like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thank you for hanging out with me so much. And I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye.